All right, it looks like everyone has trickled in. I think we are ready to get started. So I will continue to admit people as they show up, but James, I will hand it off to you. Great, Tony, thank you. Um, get my video started here. Hopefully you can see me now. You good to go? I can see you. Yep. Perfect. All right. Thank you, everybody, for joining me today. I appreciate it. I know how busy your lives are. It means a lot to us that you're willing to take a little bit of time out to find out what we've got going on. Um, and we have a lot going on. So welcome to our January 2023 Sharing the Vision webinar. We started this series of Sharing the Vision sometime last year with the idea of creating more transparency and more knowledge. You know, we understand how important Tiger Paw is to your business, and therefore us as a company is important to your business. And we realized a lot of communications were after the fact. This is done, go download it. This is available. Oh, we built this resource. And we wanted to get more proactive in letting you know what we're doing and where we're going. Um, so you understand how that fits in with your business model. So um, typically there's a video. I do a video and we release it, but on the quarter, um, we do these webinars. So the idea is we want to give you something every month of what's going on with the quarters being the big webinars, which you've, you've come to attend. So I appreciate you joining me live for this one. I've got some really exciting stuff to talk about, and I'm just going to jump right on in. So the agenda today, first, we're going to talk about the state of the business. That's the state of Tiger Paw. I think because you, you run your business and trust your business on our platform, it's important for you to know how we're doing as a company. Uh, then we're going to talk about the technology updates, which is probably the primary reason most of you guys are on the call today. But we've also got some service updates to share with you and some things that we're doing in that area. So super excited to share some of this stuff. I mean, we our team has been busy. And, and that's a big part of what we want you to understand is what we're doing for you. Um, so the state of our business at Tiger Paw, um, some of you may know this, this is our 40th year in business. We actually were started in 1984. I wouldn't be surprised if some people on the call have been with us two decades. We literally have customers been with us 20, 25 years. And I, we're super grateful for not just the business, but in a lot of cases, the friendships. Um, so we've been going for quite a while. I'm second generation, which you may or may not know, and I've been running it for about a decade now. Um, so it's it's been a while. We continue to, to innovate. In fact, we remain uh, independent, family-owned, and family-led. So we have a set of core values at Tiger Paw that is our corporate core values, also shared by the family. And again, everything that we do is, is wrapped around our mission of helping you run a better business and sleep better at night. And we're not beholden to any other entities to make our decisions. It's us that make the decisions that are working hard for you. Um, we're continuing to win awards for our software. We don't always tout that with our, our client base, uh, but we're constantly recognized for, for innovation and things that we're doing. We've put out some, some good software in the last year. We've got even more and better software coming this year. And, and something I want to mention that can be a sore spot for people, but 2022 is a record year for Tiger Paw uh, in top line revenue. It was, a, it was a big year for us. And the reason it's touchy is that we know that we just came off a price increase and people don't always want to hear um, wow, you're doing well, but you raised my prices. But the reason I want to point this out is we continue to invest in people and technology. We added last year 14 um, full-time employees, most of them to the development team. We are now the largest we've been as an organization. We promised as we went through the price increase that we were going to continue to invest those funds in you. And that's exactly what we've been doing and continue to do. We're continuing to hire. We are investing in tech stacks. We are hiring professional UI firms. UX firms for web stuff. You know, it, it was it was not lip service when we said that we were focused on growing our business and growing our product lines and continuing to provide value for you. And that's exactly what we're working on doing. So let's get into the technology updates. Again, probably the thing you're most curious about. We've got some major releases coming this year, some really important things. The first thing I want to mention is the next generation technology releases. These are products based on brand new tech stacks. These are not iterations of anything that you already have. The first is coming out here in Q1. It's the Microsoft 365 Calendar Sync. This is a replacement for the Exchange Integrator. I have a dedicated slide on this, so we'll get into the details here in a second. Uh, but this is an exciting piece of tech that we can't wait to get in everybody's hands. The uh, next thing that we'll talk about is the Tiger Paw Field Service mobile app. We got brand new mobile app coming here in Q2. Again, I've got a dedicated slide on that, and we'll go into the details of it. And then finally on the new technology is a new service portal released at the end of Q3. This is one of the most exciting components. This is a new web-based application that is the start of our the first component you're going to get a chance to, to have 
and in the full on brand new web product suite that we are working on. And again, I've got a dedicated slide on that too. So I'm, I'm going to get into details on all of these, but all of these are coming this year and you can see those quarters. We've also got the quote recurring services, which is coming by the end of Q2. That is a feature, not a product really. And it's going to be in both Unleashed and on-prem. One of the things that I'll mention is we are committed from a feature perspective and doing our very best to keep feature parity for those that are on-prem and unleashed. Um, there are going to be some uh, exceptions when it comes to technology that cannot be deployed on-prem, but the feature set is going to be the same. So this, this is something we've talked about before. This is the ability to quote recurring services on your on your quote in Tiger Paw, you know, whether it's a monthly or a semi-annually or an annually, and the quotes and proposals will print out appropriately. So here's your one-time purchases, here's your recurring services, here's what your monthly payment looks like. And then what's really cool is we're building the technology right now that will let you take that. And when you turn that quote into a service order, it'll also take those services and automatically generate contracts and agreements based on the type of, of service that you've built. So the idea is you can go into a quote, you can put everything on it that your clients need to see, and then we can process that and actually turn that into actionable items in the back end, being service orders and contracts and agreements. Uh, it's been a long time coming. We're super excited to get in your hands, and you're going to see this here by, by summertime. And then uh, lastly, uh, major notes, and again, I want to be very clear. What you're seeing today is the highlights and the big stuff coming. There's a lot of other additional things. We got some really cool auto purchasing technology that's coming in. There's going to be a lot of things um, that are in the process, but these are the big things. And this last big piece of technology is, you know, we've, boy, we have been supporting the current, the the, the version of SQL that TigerPaw supports is, uh, it's over a decade old, right? And we haven't updated that because we didn't want to have customers have to go through a SQL update and deal with that. And some people have paid for SQL server and may not want to upgrade it. The reality is the, the SQL version is holding us back. There are development functionalities. There are dramatically improved performance enhancements in the new version of Crystal or SQL. And there are things that we want to take advantage of. So we are going to make the move with, with uh, Tiger Paw in Q4 to the latest version of Microsoft SQL. At the same time, we are going to be modifying our report engine to use the very latest version of Crystal Report. So by the end of the year, you'll be able to run the latest version of SQL with, with all the benefits that brings along and be able to use the current version of Crystal in a modern uh, product to be able to build any custom reports you're doing. And again, that's this, this, this is both Unleashed and On-Prem. If you're on our Unleashed platform, obviously you're not going to have to worry about this. We're going to ups install and, and take care of it. Uh, if it's on-prem, you are going to have to install uh, a version of SQL. It, we support the free version. If you're using a paid version, that's acceptable as well. But these are big technologies or changes that are coming this year as they move us again in the future. And, and that's what we're talking about is where we're going with the future. So let's talk some specifics. Um, the Microsoft 365 Calendar Sync. So the Exchange Integrator product has been out for a very long time. I, I rely on it heavily. A lot of people in, in our business do. I know a lot of our clients do. But the Exchange Integrator is built on very old technology, in some cases unsupported and in, in, in the process of being deprecated technologies. And it's it was high time that we replaced that product. We chose not to try to do any kind of revision, but to do a complete build from scratch. So this new product is based on Microsoft's Graph API, which is their latest and greatest way to talk to Microsoft 365. So it's completely modern from the very beginning. Um, it's also got automatic recovery of syncing. You know, one of the challenges we have um, in exchange and the old technology will throw curveballs at us and sync can get broken at times. And then recovering from that can, can really be really, um, I'm going to use the word uh, uncomfortable, like a doctor would rather than saying pain, but it can be painful. I mean, you get multiple, you can get anything with multiple duplicates on your calendar, trying to figure out what's the master. So this new product that we've built has got automatic uh, recovery. First of all, it's a hell of a lot more robust and you shouldn't have those kind of issues. But in the event that something gets out of whack, we have built under the hood the ability for it to self-reconcile. So you don't have to worry about it. It'll fix itself. You don't have to call support. There's no manual data manipulating that you have to do. And then the other piece of this is we've moved the configuration out of a separate executable that's available on the server into the product, whether that's Unleashed or the desktop um, on-prem, it's in the product. And we are focusing on the usability and ease of setup. I mean, that's the big part of the sync is what does it take to get authenticated? And, you know, Microsoft has added new steps to authentication, right? It's all about the way uh, authentication works these days and multi-factor authentication. So we're supporting the modern uh, authentication model with, with uh, Microsoft, and we're trying to make it as simple as possible to get things set up. So this will be a replacement. When this comes out, 
Um, those of you on Exchange Integrator will be encouraged to move over to this as quickly as you can. It is a much better, much more robust um, and much more efficient new component. And again, built from the ground up, not a rewrite of the existing product. Um, and again, this, this one is going to be available unleashed and on-prem. So regardless of if you've moved the unleashed platform or not, this is something that will be available to you. We'd like anybody who's using Microsoft 365 to get on this product. It's a really great product. Um, the next one I talk about is the TigerPaw Field Service mobile app. So this one, um, again, we understand that our mobile solutions have gotten long in the tooth. And the technology that we used to build them in the past, you, you download an app from the App Store. That native app, if you will, is really just a web browser. And then it's running HTML5 pages, I think, right? So the application that you're running today is really a web app that we've embedded in a browser that was available to us at the time. So we took a step back and we said, we need an entirely built from scratch mobile solution. So brand new interface. And what you see here is, is obviously being tweaked as we're in the process here, but this gives you a really good idea of what the look and feel is like. Uh, so brand new interface, but more importantly, these are iOS and Android native apps. These are not web browsers. There's, there's no trickery going behind the scenes. These are honest to God, built from scratch native applications for these devices. And what that allows us to do is we have built occasionally connected functionality. What this means is when a technician leaves with all the tickets for the day, like you might see on the left side there, those are cast to the device. If you show up to work, say, on a server and one of your clients, it's, it's in a bunker and there's no web, you can still work your tickets, do your parts, set your notes, or some of our people actually do some like rural uh, broadband delivery. They're out in the middle of nowhere. They're bringing broadband. There's no internet. Uh, and oftentimes no cell service. It's the same idea. You can still work your tickets because all the device information is cached. And as soon as then you are in, uh, you are basically active on the internet again, it will automatically sync. You won't have to do anything manual. It'll automatically sync. So your technicians now won't have that frustration of I can't actually use the darn thing because I'm, I'm down in this basement of this facility. Use it. When you walk out the door, you're actually going to get the sync. And something else that I'm really excited about is we are, again, looking forward. How can we bring modern innovations into uh, this space? And this is something, enhanced GPS functionality, geofencing capability. This actually hit me once when I was ordering DoorDash through COVID. You know, I get a message on my phone, right? And I get the technician, or the technician, I'm, I'm thinking in, in your guys' terms. But no, the, the delivery driver has picked up my order. Great. And then it says, um, you know, the next one I get is, hey, he's approaching, right? Or the next one I might get might be, hey, she left the food on the porch. And we thought, well, why the heck can't we give that kind of functionality to you to provide your clients? So that is in this new mobile solution. So you'll be able to configure it to send emails and text messages just like that. So when somebody says start travel timer to the client, it can literally text the client, we have a driver on the way, and I believe we're going to have time estimates too. I'm not, I'm, I, I'm not too in the weeds on that, but actually send a text message just like with DoorDash, drivers on the way, you can expect to see them in 15 minutes or the, the technician. Um, and when they approach, you'll say they're approaching right now. And so the first step is to use this, this geofencing technology to better communications with your clients, which will hopefully help your techs as well, right? So they don't show up and they're like, oh, we didn't know you were coming or Bob isn't here, he's on a call. Well, hopefully that stuff will get reduced. This is just the start of this technology. In the future, and we'll be very clear, not the initial release, in the future, we're looking at how to use the, uh, the geofencing capabilities to further automate the process. So for example, imagine when you start a travel timer to go to a client site, as you pull up in their parking lot, rather than stopping travel and opening a, a work, it automatically says, oh, I'm here. I'm gonna start the travel and I'm gonna start the work. And of course, the, some of this geofencing data is logged for those of you that wanna actually look at some history and find out you know, what did a technician's day look like. So we've got really big plans. Again, I wanna stress, this is modern technology built from scratch. We are, we are heavily working towards all new um, software basically to replace the existing suite rather than continuing to kind of evolve what we've got. But you're gonna see an evolution and a mix for a number of years as we get there, I think. And then this is an important point. This new mobile app is, is going to be on Unleashed only. We did not make that determination um, to push people to Unleashed platform. But one of the things that we've heard from, from you guys is you want more response, right? You want software delivered more frequently. You want bug fixes faster if they're found. You want more innovation. You would you'd, you know, ra rather have some auto deployment as opposed to wait you know, three months for an update and then have to do a big install. And mobile's a good example of why we looked at this and said, this has to be on Unleashed. 
we are moving to a model that's not just using new technology, but using all agile development methodologies, new automated testing and deployment technologies. All this is what we've been working on behind the scenes. And you can imagine, say with mobile, we got, we got oh, we found a little issue and we want to fix it. Well, every time we want to do a fix, the API that deals with the data layer, most every time has to be dealt with. If you're running an on-prem version of TigerPaw, that means when we change the mobile that materially affects your API, we break your mobile until you take the time to download and install the latest. And we need this flexibility to do this potentially a couple times a day if that's what you wanna do. We wanna get to a point where you're not waiting for big updates, you just come in on a Monday and go, wow, I got a new feature, it's available. And the only way for us to pull that off is to leverage the new technology stack and to have access to the, that complete environment. That's why we said a lot of this new tech the technology side is going to be unleashed only. Features, again, like uh, recurring services, quoting recurring services, that's for everybody. But the technology, the real future of where we're moving the tech is our Unleashed platform. That, that, and ultimately, Unleashed will be replaced with an entire brand, built from scratch web solution, which I am actually gonna talk about next. So the next product is the service portal. So what we're, what we're in the process of doing right now is um, getting to you this first release, which is think of it as like the employee portal optimized for technicians. We have hired, and these, these screens again are subject to change a little bit, but we hired a UI UX firm, put extensive research in with clients to understand workflows, how to reduce clicks, what do you need to see, when do you need to see it? And this new portal will be coming out and the idea is the portal, this new web solution is going to interface with the existing platform. platform. And again, that's why it's gotta be unleashed. We've gotta leverage the, the, the fact that we can make changes whenever we choose to and not break everybody when we do so. So for example, the service piece is the first thing you're gonna get. The next one that is slated is a brand new quoting and proposal engine built in this new web technology. Again, this is, a, I, I've got a diagram I'll show you here in a second that is a, a, shows a little bit of the tech stack, but this is really amazing amazing modern stuff and it's going to allow us to be so flexible and so responsive and so quick in what we build. So the new quoting engine is going to have the drag and drop functionality people have asked for. You know, we've got a long list of what people want to see to build beautiful proposals. Well, what we're going to be doing in Unleashed is when you go to proposals, for example, rather than taking you to the quote page that you are having in the desktop, it'll actually interface with this. You'll actually open up a browser. You'll be able to do that in the browser and it all ties together. There is no way for us to do that with an on-prem install without requiring lots and lots and lots and lots of reinstalls. So this new solution is coming out. Uh, it is again, on the road to be a full featured web product. So the service portal is first, the quoting uh, portal is next. And the plan then is to continue to release new components of this as we turn off old components in the desktop app on Unleashed. And at the end of the day, and it's about a 31 to 36 month roadmap that we have, the entire product will be replaced. The existing Unleashed desktop that we know will go away. And all of you that have moved to the web will be on this full 100% built from scratch web-based solution. Um, and again, I mentioned it's Unleashed only, but that's, that's why. This is all new tech, all new tech stack that's gonna be interfaced with the Unleashed product so that we can continue to replace old technology with new technology and to the point where we have all new and the old goes away. We're very excited about that roadmap and we're very excited about what we've been building behind the scenes to show you guys with this stuff. Very responsive, really, really cool stuff. Now this diagram, this isn't something I could explain to you well. Um, you know, I grew up as a developer. Those of you who've been with us for a long time may even remember me when I was in development. Uh, my development skills are, they're no longer current in any way, shape or form, but we thought let's throw this up there for those of you guys that are maybe Azure geeks or just interested in tech to give a little bit of an idea of how we're laying this out. The one thing I'd really like to point out is this TigerPaw API layer. You know, right now we've got a REST-based API that some people integrate with. Mobile uses its own API. Um, one of the things I didn't mention with the web application that we're building right now is it's device responsive. So it gives us the freedom to say, wow, if you're running it on a tablet, it should look like this. If you're running it in a browser or desktop, it should look like that. And then we've got the mobile solution that we're, we're releasing. The point is all of these things are going to use this one unified TigerPot API layer. Everything is being moved. So as we're replacing components with a new web, we're pulling out business logic from the front end putting them in the appropriate objects and then building the, the, the new front end on top of it. And everything that we can feasibly make available in this API, we are gonna make publicly available. So for example, when that quoting portal comes out next, 
all the functionality for building a quote will be in the API. So in theory, you'll be, if you want to, you could do an integration to maybe open up a new quote and add something to the quote. You know, that's what you'll have. So we'd like to expose everything that we're using and get rid of these multiple API sources. They're not, you know, you can't always do everything you want to do. It's only what we've chosen to expose. But this is what this new tech stack and this environment that we've been building allows us to do. There, and a, again, there's some really cool things that come out of being in this space. And if you've got questions on that or anything, really, that's what we want you to come out to the community and share the questions. So if you've got some technical questions, come out to the community. We'll put you in touch with our, our developers or our VP of development who's going to be happy to answer those questions. Uh, just be prepared for some real technical answers because the stuff they're doing right now is, is really cutting edge and really, really cool. Um, something I wanted to mention that's that's related to this new tech stack. We had a lot of clients move over to the Unleash platform in Q4 last year. And one of the stumbling blocks we were having is people who wanted to do custom reports. And I want to be very clear when I describe this, you can run custom reports out of Tiger Pond Unleash. There's no cost. There's no fee. We just have to have the report from you to put it in your report explorer. And then you can run it as though it was local. The challenge is if you want to use Crystal to write a report, because we don't give direct access to the SQL databases on Unleashed. The cool thing is by using Azure, we are able to use Azure replication services. And we can then, if you want to do this, we can provide a near real-time copy of your database and read only that you can access with Crystal Theoretically, anything that can open up a database, it's available and it's your database. This is coming on January 30th. Now, it's $100 a month with month to month. I want to explain this because people will get this wrong. This isn't $100 a month in order to run custom reports. This is $100 a month for a month that you want direct access to a, a near real-time copy of your database to do reporting or dashboarding. So if you build a report in a month, and you can you can cancel this and and put the report up on our Unleashed and run it. Uh, the reason we do this is there is a there is a real physical cost with Azure to be able to provide this technology. But it's a great example of how the technology stack that we're using is allowing us to be responsive and get things done quickly. I mean, this came up pretty much in December as a big big problem, and we were able to get this thing done and be able to roll it out soon. So so if that's a hangup for you, that's great. But the other side of the co coin is. It really, that this tech stack and where we've moved to allows us to do things that were just really um, not available to us in the past and took an awful lot more time when it was available. So I'm going to talk about some service updates next. It's a lot of big product stuff coming, and I can't wait for you guys to get your hands on some of it. But we've been doing some stuff in service, and the, the primary thing I'll talk about is Tiger Paw usage audits. So these are available as part of our customer success meetings. You know, those meetings most of you guys dodge and don't want to show up to. I would encourage you to show up with your customer advocate for these, right? These are There's a three-step process that we're doing. The first step is we want to understand what is and isn't being used in your organization, okay? Um, the thing is, when we move to the pricing model we are today, which is one price for everything, the reality is you have everything. And it's in our best interest and in your best interest for you to use as much as possible and get as much value as possible. So these calls are finding out what is being used and what isn't being used. The next step is we work with you to understand your existing business challenges and we make recommendations to you for what should you roll out next. There's an awful lot of functionality in the product. And you can certainly cherry pick, but what we want to do is help you come up with a more uh, specific approach that, okay, based on what you've told me, these are your needs. This is what you want to use. You really need to move this way, which leads into step three, which is collectively work with you to create an action plan based on priorities and capacity. So this is where we can help you define who needs to be involved. What are the academy courses they need to take? Is there an Ask the Expert session that you should get on? You know, what are, what are the things that you might want to watch out before and the best practices before you get started? But we, we want to help you adopt more and more of the platform that you are already paying for. So I really encourage you to take these calls and set up these appointments with your customer advocates so we can drill down and help you get more out of the product. And I wanted to share with you some preliminary findings from the audits that we've been doing so far. And this is about what we're learning that customers actually know about. It's, it's not that they don't know, it's just that they have not taken the time to implement. And so, the, and this is kind of a list and order of the things that we're finding that people, if you haven't implemented these, you, you are missing out on some tremendous um, opportunities. And the first is workflows, 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 workflows. Um, we have an incredibly powerful workflow engine. It's very granular. I mean, you can get down to, to, to literally customer-specific workflows if you chose to. These things also can do automated 
processes, like in some cases, auto priority of service tickets. I mean, they're incredibly powerful. They keep things moving internally. They keep communications flowing externally to your clients. Um, you know, once you build an email template that you know, then you know that the update goes to the client and it's always well written and proofread and it's not ad hoc and it's not getting lost. You know, this is an incredible way to ensure that things move, work flows through your organization, and everybody who needs to know about something knows about it, and they know about it when they need to know about it. So if you're not making the most of workflows, we got lots of resources to help you out with workflows. The next is auto invoicing and payment, and, and, and pay, payment processing. I should have processing on there. I apologize. Um, this one was a, this a surprise to me. Um, we actually use Tigerpaw to do our own invoicing and payments. So all of you as customers, you're actually getting an invoice out of Tigerpaw and we're processing your payment in Tigerpaw. This technology is amazing. When, we, when people first come to us, it is not unheard of, although it still freaks me out as a business owner, to hear that people are sending out invoices once a month. Uh, <laughs> you know. And then if you look at the, the typical statistics are, it's, it's not unlikely to see an average of 45 days to get paid. So now you're talking a potential 75 days from the work I do today, 75 days until I get paid for it. That is insane. That is such an unreliable cash flow. It makes it really challenged to run an organization and do any kind of predictive spending or budgeting. And then you throw on the fact that you got people that don't pay you or you got credit cards that get declined. I mean, it's just it's just a terrible way to do things, uh, particularly if you're in a recurring services model, right? Because Tigerpaw can do this for you. It can automatically send the invoices on one day and process the payment through credit card or ACH on a different day. And now your team is all they're doing is dealing with the exceptions, the occasional credit card that's declined, for example example. But get paid, get paid when you're supposed to get paid. Get that invoice in their hand and get paid immediately. If you're not using automated invoicing and payment processing, oh my gosh, please talk to us and look at setting that up. It is an incredible, incredible time saver. And what it's given me as a business owner with the peace of mind of being able to predict my, my actual cash flow stream is unbelievable. And it's and that that has got a huge value to me as an owner, right? Uh, the next is the vehicle inventory and auto purchasing. So if you were running trucks that have inventory, Tiger Paw can manage your min and max quantities on your vehicles, and it could do auto purchasing based on that. So the idea is when you when a, when a technician comes in at the end of the day, you already know from them using the mobile what parts they've used, and so Tiger Paw can spit out here's what needs to go on each vehicle, and oh by the way, we're three short of that. Here's we can put this on a purchase order automatically for you. So that means the next time in the morning when they roll the vehicles, the vehicles have everything they're supposed to have when they go out. You know, I, I encourage you, if you're not using this, to take a look at how often you have a part swap. How often does a technician have to come back to your office and she needs to get a part? She's got to go meet somebody else at a stop, right? Another technician to get a part. Make that stuff go away, you know, short of overusing what you had. But if you know we need three of these and we roll a vehicle, my gosh, let Tigerpaw help you do that because we do that really well. That's that, that automation point that we keep talking about, right? And then finally is project management. We have a very comprehensive project management component of Tigerpaw designed for technology providers that are putting technology into a client location. You know, you can get as crazy as you as you want with phases, uh, multiple service tickets and change orders, you know, but this, if you're, if you're doing any kind of install and you're not using our projects, I really encourage you to do so. The efficiencies, the workflow, the automated not, um, communications that can be built on these, and there's some great reporting you can do because if they're all under the umbrella of a project, now you've got some project level um, profitability reporting that you can look at that's very difficult to do if you've got just got a bunch of service tickets and you're trying to say, well, were these tickets related to this purchase? Were they related to something else? Let us take care of all that for you with the projects. So if you're not using project management, this is something you've got to take a look at. And we've talked to our clients as we've gone through this, we've looked at these things and on average for the clients that have met with this and we've looked at these changes, it's five to 20 hours in labor savings a week. Five to 20 hours. You know, and at, at the Tiger Pop, our mission with business automation is not to replace people. You're never going to hear us advocate you can have less people with Tiger Paw. Maybe you could, but that's not our mission. We are uh, we're a traction shop, so we use entrepreneurial operating system from Traction to run our business. It's a phenomenal way to run an organization. And one of the things in that uh, that process is the idea of highest and best use of our time. So the idea is, if you're a CEO like I am, um, if you're if you're answering service calls. 
Is that the highest, best use of your time? Probably not. In fact, if you're CEO, if you're doing anything that anybody else in your organization is capable of doing, you're probably not making the highest and best use of your time. Your time should be spent doing the things that are uniquely suited and, and you're the only person that you can do that. Well, that flows to every, every role, right? And I think it flows into automation. The idea is, let's say you get 15 hours of savings. The real question is, what can those human beings do with those 15 hours now that the software is doing? How do you use them for their highest and best use of their time? How do you use their unique skills and talents as human beings to provide additional value to your clients and your organization rather than something that a software tool can use? So we've got so many ways to automate and save you time. If you'll have these phone calls with you, we're happy to dig in and help you find them and identify them. And we have a whole process centered around these audits. So give us a shot and let us, let us do it for you and see what you think. Let us help you out. We'd sure appreciate it if you take that call and do that. And then the last thing I want to share with you today is the TigerPod.com Resource Center. And this is interesting. We have been building amazing content for years. Um, honestly, a lot of our content gets used more on the sales side and the marketing side, right, for, for downloads and such. We often will mention it in newsletters, but existing clients often don't think about that content. You guys are more often interested in... Um, I need to learn how to do something in Tiger Paw, so I'll go to the academy or I'll go to Ask the Experts or I'll call support. But what we wanted to share with you is we've been building this, and it's on our website. I'm going to pull it up. If you go to resources, we built an entirely new resource center where we've given a home to all of this information. And this is this is not how to use Tiger Paw. This is stuff, well, like <laughs> Uh, that's an interesting photo they chose for me there. Uh, that was an interview I did with Commercial Integrator. Um, there are all sorts of industry experts. There's write-ups on trade shows and things that we've learned, things about like inventory management. This isn't a tiger paw pitch. It's an article on inventory management practices. And you can come up here and filter by type. So for example, I can say industry insights and you'll see that I've got you know all these different articles here and I, and I can show more resources. We've got a lot more resources um, and I can filter by type. So if podcasts are my thing, I can look at industry insights for podcasts. Um, I can come up here, for example, on cybersecurity, and I can go through those articles. And these are all available to you. In fact, while you're there, if you want, you can subscribe. And we're, we're putting out updates all the time. But we have a wealth of knowledge. I mean, I've literally got full-time people that all they do is build content like this. And so we've, we've come to realize it was hidden. Maybe we did an email on it, but it never had a home. So after the original email, if you didn't click on it, you never saw it and you never got it. So we have built this as a home, and I encourage you, if you're interested in learning more about your industry and what's going on, if you're interested in hearing from experts, we've got an incredible podcast series. I think we've got over 50 podcasts with all sorts of really, really respected people um, talking about their area of expertise. So th this is available to you at no cost, and we wanted to share that with you. Again, it's another angle. You know, again, to be very, very clear, our mission isn't software. Our mission is to help you run a better business and sleep better at night. So we have the software as a vehicle. We have our support and our training. We've also got these level of resources that we provide. So these are some of the highlights of what we've been up to. Um, again, we've got a lot of other cool things going on. I know we've got a maintenance release that's coming out soon, but I wanted to keep this very specific to the big picture of what you're seeing coming this year, uh, since this is January. If you've got any questions or comments or thoughts, come to the, the community and post it. We'll make sure we get the right person to help give you an answer. But I just want you to know, we are eternally grateful that you trust your business to us. Um, and we understand the importance of that. And we have a lot of people working really, really hard to deliver some tremendous value to you this year. We are committed to our mission to help you run a better business and sleep better at night. Thank you for being a partner. For many of you, thank you for being a friend and let us know how we can help you. Be well.